Hello, everybody. I'm CM Dragonlark. I am Alteris. <laughs> and we're here for a special Dragon Saga live stream uh, QA. Yay! Woo! Um, Alteris is going to answer some questions. Okay. I will help as well. All right. Um, so, should we, like, I don't know, introduce? Should I introduce myself? Like, Absolutely. Like what I, Go for it. So, I am the producer of Dragon Saga. Um, I work behind the scenes to make sure that content is delivered on time. I work with Popcorn, the artists, and, you know, just the other staff. And we just make Dragon Saga what it is. <laughs> yep. That's accurate. Yeah. Um, I'm basically on the forums, um, Steam, and Facebook answering questions all the time. Um, and, of course, you've all seen Popcorn as well. He should be joining us. He'll be in the chat. He can't be here. Where is the chat? Is that the chat it's, over That's there? the chat over okay. there. Um, I might refresh it real fast just to make sure. No, it's actually, yeah. If I do that, it'll... There we go. Hello, Semitron. <laughs> Welcome. Um, I moved over there so it's easier to see. Okay. Uh, it, it's live. Woo! Um, and for this live stream, it's... Um, Yay, popcorn! Popcorn is also here. I forgot there's a delay oh, okay. in the chat, too. So. I gotcha. Um, so for for the questions, we're going to answer questions from... Do you want to answer the forum questions first and we'll then answer? Yeah, we'll start with the forum questions first, because um, I guess that's like the majority of questions people want anyways. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then we'll do some live ones maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> You've been waiting for eight hours. Oh man, that's so excited. <laughs> that's some that's some dedication. Yeah, there for like some I'm glad we're dedication. finally here for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right. So we'll go ahead and just to make sure we can. Here, that'll be fine. Um, we'll go over the the forum ones. And did you want to actually go to the forum or the ones that we already these ones? I mean, that's fine. Let's just pick those. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so do you want me to ask the questions, then you'll answer them? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm sure since you've been waiting eight hours, you're super ready to hear answers. <laughs> How will Dragon Saga development go in the future, and what are the current plans for future development? Um, so right now, Dragon Saga, we're still kind of in the learning phase, so it's kind of slow. Um, thank God we have a, a really great um, staff. Mm -hmm. Popcorn, yeah, uh, to help us uh, guide us through uh, the learning curve. Because when we got the actual like uh, development stuff from the original team, it was pretty much a giant box of like, "Hey, here's <laughs> stuff. Um, we don't know how it works, so good luck." And pretty much we had to like piece together all all the things like like the graphic side, the code, um, just like even small little things like how patches work, you know. And um, Popcorn has really helped us out on figuring out a majority of the majority of the stuff, and so we're still in the learning phase. Um, but every patch, it's getting better and better. Um, mm -hmm. I want it to go faster, a faster pace. But you know, our our size is not that big, yeah. our, our team. Um, but yeah, that's that's our current uh, our current pace. Um, as for future plans, uh, of course. Our, our biggest drive is for content. Yeah. Yeah. We want to do, like, levels and, like, cool effects, more more weapons, armors, stuff like that. But yeah, that is for the future. <laughs> All right. Because when you guys first got it, it was just, like you said, it's just like a box of stuff. Yeah, so. pretty much. It, it, was, it was like someone just gave us, like, a mishmash of stuff. Just like, here, yeah, here's... Sometimes, it, actually, it was like a lot of it was just like uh, copies. So like, um, they would give us like two different files that are the exact same name, but the dates are different. But then we're like, oh, we have to investigate these, and then yeah. we find out, no, it's the same exact thing. So a lot of times when we're like double checking these files, it took a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um... When will the game be ready to have new development coding? Um, actually, there is new coding right now. Um, in the background, in the server side, 
um, as well as the Steam stuff. Those that is completely new code. Um, we are putting together like small fixes here and there because so our de design philosophy with the the U.S. and our old Korean development is very different. So a lot of the style of the Korean development was like new content, new content, new content, and they never really looked back on like broken things or or uh, things that the community wants fixed, but. Yeah. You know, they, they just don't have time because their taskmasters are like, all right, you have to build this new level. Uh, forget about the old stuff. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. While us, we want, like, hey, this stuff is broken. We need to fix this now before we move forward. Yeah. So that is our philosophy. Um, so you want to fix everything before you move forward. That's yes. probably better. So there's a better foundation. Exactly. And as we fix it, uh, we find different things. Like, we learn about the code and we learn about their design process of, like, what went into this when they did it. So it'll make it easier and faster to develop later. In the future. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, is the development transfer complete or is it still in process? Man, this is like one big... Yeah, that's <laughs> why they're all together. So, that's... Like... <laughs> so it, it's pretty much complete because this is like pretty awful, but the actual design team of Dragon Saga in Korea was laid off way before we got the actual content. So it's not like there was like a guiding hand of like, hey, you know, you're the new team. This is what we did. It was just like that box of like, Pfft. yeah. So it's not good luck. <laughs> it's not that the transfer isn't complete. It's that yeah. there's just a lot to go through yeah. that you have. Like, cause there was there was no like, oh, we're gonna give you this and then explain it. It's mm -hmm. just here's everything. Good luck. Yes, okay. it was it was pretty much that. Um. All right. Uh, someone asked, would it be possible to have a crossover patch between Dragon Saga and other Warp Portal games like the Worlds Collide? And um, they specifically mentioned, I didn't put it here, but Requiem and Rose. <laughs> Requiem. Oh, that brings <laughs> back memories. PTSD right there. No. <laughs> um, I would love crossovers. I actually uh, played part of the, the, the Ragnarok stuff mm -hmm. while I'm leveling up my character. And it was pretty cool. Um, I wish it was a lot more difficult, but yeah. it was cool. Um, I would love to do more crossovers, but then, then again, you know, there's licensing issues. Yeah. Um, like Ragnarok, for instance, we would have to like make like a contract with Korea mm -hmm. and ask them like, hey, we want to do RO2. Um, yeah. Rose might be, be a little easier, but uh, we'll see um, as we build more content. Yeah. I'm trying to imagine Requiem. <laughs> Yeah, Requiem is going to be kind of weird. Saga. You can see, like, you know, <laughs> M-rated things. There's different, yeah. Uh, boobs and butts everywhere. That's going to be kind of gross. That might be for difficult to cross yeah. over. Maybe some of the monsters. Like, like there like are... Like a really cute chibi version of the monsters. Yeah, like... Like, like I don't think a penis monster would be good no, for a dragon song. probably song. not. <laughs> um, but there are some cute... Like, in the Red Bubble, I know that yes. we have, like, some, like, chibi versions yeah, of the like, monsters that are, like, On the forum, cute. I have this winged guy who kidnaps babies that's 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 the monster but his name is the pez and yeah he kidnaps babies but yeah it looks cute i guess <laughs> uh, i didn't know it kidnapped babies i feel like i've learned too much today um will the enchant limit ever be raised um currently there is no plans to do that uh, i know this is a very like there's, there's both sides to this. There's, like, the veteran crowd who wants to really increase the damage and, you know, mm -hmm. the value of their items. But then, again, it's also, like, it makes the game more... It's, like, a really bad word for, for free-to-play, but it's pretty pay-to-win if, if the enchant rate is, like, super high. Mm -hmm. So I think the current level is pretty good. Um, maybe in the future, if there's a better way of balancing this, we might look into it again, but right now there's no plans. All right. Uh, let's see. Is it possible to block the IP for gold sellers in-game? Uh, yeah, that's what we are currently doing. Um, yeah, after Steam, we saw a giant influx, you know. Yeah. As, as you saw in the game, of like, just gold farmers or gold sellers, like, constantly spamming the thing. And with the work with our GM staff and Popcorn, we were able to mitigate a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, we do IP bans. That is like, like we see them, like, poof, you're gone. You know? yeah. Actually, we don't allow a lot of accesses from certain countries, too. Mm -hmm. um, namely, the big, you know, gold seller countries. But 
like cockroaches, they find ways in, like proxies yeah. and stuff. And we ban those po- uh, proxies too, but they find other ways, and it's it's very difficult. So, um, best way to help us is to like report them. Uh, we added blocking tools so you could block them as well. So. Yeah, so that was effective. So. How has the Steam launch gone, and have the Steam login issues been resolved? Uh, the Steam launch was, like, we estimated, like, oh, there's going to be a couple people playing, you know? Yeah. Uh, our, our past games, like Requiem and Rose, and there, there's been, like, a couple hundred. Mm-hmm. Wow. For Dragon Saga, <laughs> it was, like, day one, it's like, boom, thousand people, like, rushing in the doors, and we're just, like, our servers just could not take it. It was just, like, every every day, like, I get a call from, like, our, our staff, yeah. like, Hey, uh, the login's not working. This is like 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm just like, God, I log in and like have to reset it. Um, we had a lot of uh, updates server-wide, hardware, server-side, client um, to fix this. And so far, it looks like it's been resolved. Mm-hmm. We might see a little hiccup stuff here and there. Um, but so far... I think it's fixed. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen um, this many. It's, it's, I don't get any calls anymore, so that's good. Um, if there, if you guys are still having some issues, please like post on the forums, and um, our staff will look into it. Um, will the Soulcraft and chat restrictions ever be lifted from the item all accessories? Last week, they were uh, removed uh, for, well, kind of. So we had this issue. Um, I posted this recently for you guys um, that there were fraudulent charges. What people would do would uh, they would buy like a thousand, two thousand dollars worth of this stuff, sell it for dirt cheap, and then refund the, <laughs> the amount of money back to their credit card. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then they would sell this gold as gold sellers. So it was like a triple whammy. So we had to stop this. Um, so we did put in some harsh restrictions just temporarily because we're like, you know, we had to stop this now before we, it bleeds us dry. Yeah. Um, and then we, we, you know, did emergency meetings with the staff. We're like, hey, what are your guys' ideas to solve this issue? And Popcorn, myself, and some of the veteran staff, the GM mm-hmm. staff, we, we got together and we, we found some, some steps to prevent this. So right now... You could still buy them off the, the auction house, uh, the open market, mm-hmm. but you have to be above level 50 in order to sell it. Okay. Um, and then prior to this, we even did something before was that you have to be at least level 20 because 1 to 20, it's really easy to level up, mm-hmm. but you have to be at least level 20 and your first job in order to purchase stuff on the cash shop. I think yeah. that is pretty harsh, but I think it's acceptable. Will there ever be an enchant to F6 rings and necklaces? Uh, this is not currently on our list. Um, we might visit it for our future updates, maybe. Yep. Um, would it be possible to downgrade Galaxia ring and necklace cards so they can be used for lower levels? Um, at the current moment, I think there's enough lower level items in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think there's a reason to bring more higher level items to lower level range. Uh, in my opinion though, I think there should be more higher level items so there could be more variety for players to choose between. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't see that happening right now. So probably go the other direction. Where yeah, I, I mean if, level, if our staff, like Popcorn and like other, other you know, staff members think like, hey, this is a big issue, maybe. But right now I don't think that's really a, a big thing. Okay. Um, any plans for legend IM sets? I don't know sets. I don't think so right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, we want to, of course, we want to make more item all I like costumes and stuff. But we also want to get free stuff as well. Um, legend sets. I don't know what kind of stats that would entail. Mm-hmm. I don't think so at the moment. <laughs> I think where we are currently with with how much stats the costumes are giving, it's pretty good. Um, Chaos Lord, yeah, the video is going to be on YouTube uh, very shortly after um, it's completed, and I'll post it everywhere. So, wherever, whichever social media you choose to stalk us on, 
they will be there. Um, will the quest ever be given a revamp, such as giving higher EXP rates and more rewards to make them more profitable to complete? Actually, uh, Popcorn did talk to us about this, and we are currently looking into this. Uh, this is something that requires a lot more time, yeah. because there's a lot of math involved. Uh, there's a lot of, like, if we give too much EXP, then certain EXP quests are, like, not, not really preferred to do. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to make it a nice curve, so this requires some time. But yeah. this is definitely something we're looking into, especially towards the later end of the game, because mm -hmm. uh, we notice there's a drop-off in, like, quest EXP. It's like yeah. a very big hot topic uh, within the community right now is that the F7 mode is like the go-to way to get EXP. Yeah. And I think that the heart and root of the game is actually you know the arcade mode and questing. So that should be uh, the preferred way to get EXP in my opinion. Alright. Um, someone asked in chat real quick, this kind of I got a uh, question, the merchandise. We actually have a like t-shirt merchandise um and like mugs, pillows, stuff like that. We have a red bubble shop. Um, but we don't, I don't think we have anything for plushies or anything like that. Yeah, plushies, they, that would they're, be great. They're actually a little more difficult <laughs> yeah. to come by in terms of putting them together and stuff like that. But if there is something that works, it will definitely let you know as soon as possible. Um, all right. Will there be more to the story, more content beyond Elga? We also noticed that um, there's like a sudden drop off in the story. Like it just like, you're, it, the story just ends abruptly. Um, yes, we want to continue. Um, we also want to make new characters, maybe more art um, involved with the story. Especially that that what what is his name? That Poro Ring or whatever the the little blue guy that you start yeah. off with. He just like Poro disappears. Ring. Like. He starts off with him like the first chapter, and he's just gone. And it's like he seems really important to me. Yeah, it's like he's he, you have this whole character that you've developed, and he's just like missing. So um, we definitely do want to create more story. Um, well, that's exciting. Um, oh, thank you for posting that semi-tron. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, could. The job change quest be more challenging. Uh, there were some changes not too long ago. Um, I think we did it for the third job quest. Uh, more challenging. I think right now it's very tedious at the moment. Mm -hmm. Challenging. Some people might find it more challenging. Other might think that it's more harder. So that's a really difficult way of making it. Um, yeah. I think before there was like a PvP way to do it, but yeah, it was like I don't know. It's really weird. <laughs> um, all right. Um, when will the missing skill of the third class be added? So, um, skills are fun to do. They'd be great. I would love to add more skills. Um, adding complexity to the game is my personal favorite part of uh, MMOs, um, but at the moment uh, there is certain things we have to do before we add more skills. Uh, for instance, cheating. You know that's yeah. that's been a big thing. Um, recently, the last month and a half, we've been really hammering on the cheating part of the game. Mm -hmm. And uh, for you guys out there that you know find new ways, it'd be really great if you guys help out um, so that we could solve this issue together. Uh, once we smooth that out, then we could probably start adding more skills. Because right now, the numbers are very inflated. Certain skills do more damage because of cheating, mm -hmm. and that might affect the gameplay, the balance. So I think a good way to stop this is, or to, to get into more skills, is to make it a blank state, like slate. Like, fixing what's wrong right now mm -hmm. so that the future will be better. Yeah, exactly. Um. And when it is reported, that it helps move along faster so that future content and stuff like that can come out faster. So That and PvP will be balanced. Right now, it's just really unbalanced. Some people could just do crazy damage because of these cheats, and that's not fun. Like, yeah. It's totally not fun. What's the point even? I don't know. Yeah. All right. Will there ever be a new level cap? New cap? Okay, so new level cap. Uh, that's like the MMO bread and butter. Um, 
I can honestly say right now it's not in our current development plans. Mm -hmm. um, I think there is a lack of content at the current end, end cap of the game. Mm -hmm. So maybe when that fills up and we were like, okay, everyone's kind of getting bored of the end, end game, we need to add more stuff, mm -hmm. then maybe we could do a level cap. Um, like, so previously um, in other games, a lot of Korean MMOs like to just like, oh, here's a level cap, that's your content update. I personally don't believe in that. I think an MMO, when they release uh, a level cap, they need to supplement it with content, quests, mm -hmm. and specifically items. And in order to do that, that has to be like almost like an expansion. So yeah. if we do like a level cap, I would think it would be more of an expansion update rather than just like, hey, level cap. You know? Yeah. Because I mean, just leveling isn't really, I think the fun part of it is... Mm -hmm. is exploring, exploring a new place. Exactly. Yeah. Will I think I skipped this one. Will when will there be new classes? Uh, I don't see new classes at the moment, um, just because there's so so much missing already with the existing classes. Mm -hmm. um, just like the level cap, that would have to be a whole new thing. Because um, so far from what I'm seeing with the Dragon Saga. Um, design philosophy is like pretty much if there's a new class you need a whole new weapon set mm -hmm. and not only that that means you have to build like weapon sets from level one all the way up to the end cap right now and that would be a huge task to do yeah um i think what they maybe mean is like a fourth class uh that would also be like a level cap thing so that is also like let's see yeah <laughs> yeah are there any plans for my home expansions or updates? Um, I think right now I saw some, um, actually, some GM tickets about this. Uh, there's like some people, some new players think that when you get furniture, there's like bonuses added to the furniture, but mm -hmm. they don't stack. Okay. Um, so he, like for instance, like a couch gives four percent EXP and a fridge gives like ten EXP, and you think, oh, I have the fridge and the couch, I should get fourteen EXP. And apparently that's not what, what it is right now. Apparently it's like whatever highest you have is the EXP you get. So it's like why even buy the couch so then? you just need one awesome yeah. piece of furniture. Yeah, so I think um, what we want to do is maybe have a system that stacks the bonuses. But in order to do that, we'd have to relook at the older stats mm -hmm. to make sure we don't have these crazy combinations where this guy gets like 1,000 EXP just because he has like 10 refrigerators in his house or something. Yeah. Know? So, <laughs> House of Fridges. Yeah, so we have to balance it out um, and revisit the stats of uh, what it gives. Um, wouldn't it be better, since so much change has to be done to elements and class balance, wouldn't it be better to make an expansion patch instead of just 30 patches? Um, yes and no. Um, so. Yes, it would be a great marketing patch. It's like, hey, yeah. new systems, and it's like elements all changed. That would be great. That marketing, you know, telling older players and newer players to come back and revisit this whole new balance change, that would be awesome. But on the design wise, mm -hmm. I think that would be a terrible idea because now we have to look at like 50 plus skills to balance and see how they coordinate with each other and how much like we have to nerf like yeah. a lot of the times you know nerfs would happen and if we nerf it too much then now this class is broken and then so i think that'd be terrible i think it'd be better in order for something more complicated like this to do in like little small patches along the way mm -hmm. as we tweak it to get the numbers just right so that we don't have crazy like, oh my god, this sword is doing like, or this sword slash is doing a bajillion elemental damage and you just ruined the game. Yeah. I, I don't want that to happen. I want it to be smaller patches. Yeah. So what you were saying was like for, when you were talking before about like a level cap expansion at one point, like that would be more of an expansion thing. Yes. The thing you're working on right now, the foundation thing, then fixing everything is you want to get them done as soon as possible. Yeah, and get small, them small incremental upgrades. Yeah, so you can kind of look at the results before just like throwing everything out there and then be like, yeah, yeah just kidding on this and this Yeah, and this. that way we could be more uh, like flexible. Like, oh, this needs to be, you know, downgraded by like 10 damage and we can just change it yeah. rather than like a billion damage. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Um, if you're experiencing lag, try turning the um, the quality of the live stream down a little bit, maybe. Um, I know that sometimes Twitch lags, but that's helped some people in the past. So sorry about that. Um, uh, any second server for the thousands of you EU players struggling with high ping? Currently, there is no plans. Uh, unfortunately, we are not that big of a game company to have like multiple servers across this across the world. Um, if you guys, you know, somehow get us like a million players and <laughs> make us into the super mega corporation of like gravity, you know, global. Yeah, we could probably do that. But right now, with the amount of players we have and you know how big our company is, we that is not possible at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Like, uh, as as a PvP player, like I I know the lag struggles. Yeah. And I hate that whenever I play like MMOs and other PvP games. It's just frustrating. But yeah. That's this is all we could do right now, mm -hmm. unfortunately. All right. I think that's the end of the the forum questions that we had on here. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys have any questions, I might go through here and see if there's questions while we were. Um, if you have any questions in the chat, now is the time to ask. Live Q&A. Yeah. <laughs> if we didn't cover something, or even if you came in late and we covered something and you didn't see it. Guys, yeah. Yes, new goal, million players. <laughs> that would be an amazing goal. We'll post about that everywhere. Um, but I have to say, though, uh, during the Steam launch, we did almost, like, triple our population. That is amazing. Like, yeah. I didn't know that we had so many fans out there that just didn't know about the game. Um, it's It was crazy seeing, like, what was that country? I think it was... I, I want to say it was Germany. It's just, like, we just got a truckload of people. It was amazing. Yeah, um, I never knew exactly where. I know mm -hmm. I knew there was a big jump. I didn't know where. Yeah, I mean, of course, exactly, our biggest but... market was America. Mm -hmm. I think our second biggest was Germany, and then it was like France, uh, Great Britain, and then some of the Southeast Asia places. But yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, King Santi asks, "Will there be a, ever be a Unity event again?" Sure. I mean, uh, we do revisit events. Um, like for instance, the Cookie Factory, we just we just did. Uh, I think it's going to end tomorrow. Um, we might put in the Unit event in there if we have space available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's like right now, there's like a lot of like holidays coming up. For instance, there's like Easter coming up, and after yeah. that, there's like like I don't know Labor Day. <laughs> yeah. Um. Have you ever thought of adding an item, an extra? Are you sure you want to delete an item for soul-bound items in your inventory so you can't delete them by accident? Uh, we could re uh, look at that. Um, I think that's a, a decent suggestion. Um, I'll ask the staff if maybe we could put that in. Uh, doesn't seem too hard. Time for all new players coming for you. Um, yeah, the Unity event was originally made for a special, um, mm -hmm. for a special actual event. That was for what it was called. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe a one year of that would be kind of a good. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I mean, this is that, I, I I've seen a lot of pe people like coming in. Yeah. You know, unite the Steam players as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, Imperial question: Imperial be changed and put back like it was before? Um, I haven't seen it. The, the previous way before, so uh -huh. I don't really understand that one. Uh, maybe I could look at some YouTube videos of what the previous Imperia event was. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder why they changed it. That, that seems kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Is Popcorn your developer? Yes, he is one of our development staff. Um, yeah. He is actually one of our core development staff. He knows a lot about the game because, quite frankly, I am pretty new to the game. Um, he has a, a larger understanding of like the complexity of the game as well as like the history of the game. Mm -hmm. So 
is a valuable, valuable developer for our staff. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you got any ideas for the future that are like written down? Um, uh, from the original developers? Not really. <laughs> like, like I said, they just, pff, here you go, go for it. It's like, um, it would have been great if they had some like written down like thoughts of what they wanted in the future. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nothing, nothing written down from them. And for like your ads developer right now, you're working on like like you said before, like the foundation, mm -hmm. like getting rid of like people being able to cheat in the game, and so you can move forward with like before you add more stuff. But there's always like a list of things that you want to see in the future, mm -hmm. um, from what I understand. From yeah, I mean, you with questions a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like something, some quality of life things I wanted to put in is like. Um, I think I saw on the forum someone mentioned like a buyback system from like merchants and stuff. Yeah. I think that's that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. um, that would be really cool to implement to the game. Yeah. Especially if you accidentally sell something, like, I want it back. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's why, why don't you give it back to me? So that would be something cool to add um, definitely into the game. Uh, maybe some, some more levels, like dungeons. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But we really need to work on like the level tool. They kind of gave it to us in this weird like half and half state. It, like it runs, but doesn't like import things very well. So we're still working on that as well. Um, specifically, actually, we got like a lot of the graphic graphics things to work, mm -hmm. but it's just like some of the bone structures in the game don't really work well. Um, for instance, we made some mounts. Uh -huh. Yeah, we made a couple mounts. Uh, I think they're very cool. But we have not been able to import them into the game yet. Um, actually, uh, we have some screenshots. Um, show those real fast. So as we learn about the game, um, we're going to put these into the game All right. in the future. So um, I hope you guys like them. That's Astro Cat. He is a astronaut cat mount. <laughs> I think he looks adorable. Yeah, I like that face. And then our this is my favorite. This is this is actually from me asking our artists like why do not why don't we have pugs in the game? So it is Sir Puggington, the mount. He is a pug mount with a top hat and a monocle. Those facial expressions, <laughs> it's just the best. Yes. I so like that happy face. We made these mounts, but uh, they're just not in the game yet. Um, but we want to put them in the game. And uh, as well as new weapons, new armors, uh, new effects. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sick. so... Now make them battle. I want them to battle Astro Cat <laughs> versus Sir Puggington. Because we did have that you guys <laughs> participated in the... Um, there was an event in-game for mm -hmm. the Husky thing. Like, yeah, I was fun. like... I think that should definitely be a... That, that's like way before my time or something. They're just like <laughs> Husky for president. It's like, who the heck is Husky? And I was like, oh, it's the pet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Chat is blowing up. Um, yeah, it's, it kind of, I've noticed usually with any of the live streams, it's a lot of, it's Twitch. Mm -hmm. um, Twitch is just more laggy. Like personally for me at home, Twitch lags awful. And I'm like, I'm not yeah. like And maybe we could ask away, our IT so staff like, to help out. Maybe. We can see if there's some, well, it's always like just, it's some people and some mm -hmm. people not. So oh. I think it really depends on like the individual connection a lot of times. But I mean, obviously, yeah, if, if we're, if a lot of people are experiencing it, especially like let us know. Um, we obviously really want people to be able to not lag. I know it's really annoying, especially when you're asking questions. Um, okay. It's like, what's the Symmetron asking? Um, to add chapter three POW back again. Is that, that Port of Winds, right? Yeah. All around the circle map, where you could jump on the roof, Pedican. Um, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we'll we'll investigate we could look that. Look into it. Yeah, we could look into it, but yeah. I can't give you any guarantee. Uh, this is the first time that I've uh, heard of it. So, um, and just so you guys know, for after this too, like we have a suggestions portion of the forums, and if you want to ask, like, make suggestions at any point. If you have like a future suggestion on Facebook. Steam, like we read all those like pretty quickly after they're posted and everything gets read and forwarded on so the development team can look at it um, and replied to by the, the, the forum staff and the mm -hmm. 
developers. So. Um, also, someone mentioned that it's an old map. Um, that actually makes it a little harder because when they actually gave us, like, like I said, that box of stuff, right? Um, a lot of it was unorganized, so, so there might, yeah, that. we have to dig yeah. through. So they have like the same file name, and it's like, all right, which which one's which? <laughs> so it might take us a time, like a while, to find these files. Yeah. Question about PVPS, uh, how do priority communicate towards class balance, trial question yourself. Um. Oh, so PVP balance um, from Chaos Overlord or Chaos Lord 95. Uh, PVP balance, uh, we already kind of talked about it before. Um, we want to get the cheat issues done first because yeah. cheating in PVP sucks. And we got to balance that out, and then maybe we can start balancing out the, uh, the skills. As for community uh, input, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, there's only so much me, Popcorn, and the other developers know about the classes. Um, the people who actually play them know them a little more. So we might, we will take your suggestion, but we might not take all of it, um, especially since, you know, there's, there's interest in to make your character yeah. or your class stronger, right? So we have to still kind of even it out. Yeah. So, so really since sometimes there are more of one type of character, mm -hmm. are people playing certain characters more, and so there might be more lean towards that in the community areas, but you just want to make sure that it's all around balanced for everyone. Uh, there's a lot of hackers and cheaters that never get banned. Um, send in tickets. We do ban them. Mm -hmm. We do ban them. Um, we, like, we do not like them. Yeah. <laughs> um, that uh, is, we've, we've been doing a lot of background work in order to get this fixed, so And any, any kind of information help. you can give them, like, to help them find these players and prove that their um, cheating is extremely useful, like, just saying this person's cheating, like, just, like, tell them what they're doing exactly, where you saw them, like, send screenshots or videos if you have them. All of those things are extremely helpful to the support team. Um, ranking mode? Oh, you mean like a like a balanced? Oh, like the gear balanced mode? Um, maybe we could add that in, the, in that into the future. Um, that would take quite a bit of time to do. <laughs> so we'll we'll put that into the suggestion uh, with our staff. No deep minds are not possible anymore. Um, if for, if you find out about something in the future, uh, duping method, let us know. Yeah. And we will get on All it. the current known methods yeah. are not done right now, but I mean, there's there could be more in the future. We, we don't know. I mean, th that's the whole thing with software development. There's always some way, maybe. So if you guys do find a way, please yeah. tell us so that we could just yeah. kill it from the, the roots. Because um, there always seems there's always people who, yeah. So, um, do you ever consider splitting PvP and PVE gear? Uh, splitting gear that's a little more difficult, um, just because there's a lot of stats that are the same. Um, actually, there's a lot of games in the past that have done this, where it's like you get PvP gear from PvP and you get mm -hmm. PVE gear from PVE. Um, but the problem is a lot of players will try to find the easiest way to find gear fast, mm -hmm. right? So if they find out, oh, you know, PvPing, I just need to like stand around and just suck in points to mm -hmm. get free gear, they'll do that and then they'll make PvE completely useless. So uh, that is a very difficult task to, to do, yeah. um, but maybe there might be ways in the future to make gear only for PvP that you can't use outside. But you know that's that's a whole new level of development. Yeah. Um, have you ever considered making the megaphones trade restriction removed, so people who can buy them for am can sell and trade them for a gold? Um, right now, we like where it is. Um, I think if we do that, it might give the gold spammers more ways to spam gold messages and yeah. I know people don't like That's that true. so yeah 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 of course. Right. so 
Do you guys have any more questions? I'll give them a second to catch up in case. Is there anything else that you wanted to? No, that's no. it. I mean. Um, all right, and again, if you guys have any suggestions, anything else you want to ask, um, the forums are a great place to post. Also, Facebook, um, even Twitter and Steam, all those places. Yeah, I do have a Twitter account. Um, I haven't used it in a while just because uh, I've been so busy trying to catch up with Dragon Saga, but I'm going to start looking into it some more. Mm -hmm. um, I'll post it on the forum, so if you guys have some like direct questions, I'll, I'll look into it. And, and there's a general, the there, there's a Dragon Saga um, Twitter too that we check um, all the time. So, because <laughs> yeah, so. the developers get sort of busy sometimes, it's understandable they can always check the social media as often. But, yeah, um, it's a little easier to me uh, for for me to look at Twitter and just like you know if I'm sitting at home looking yeah, at it, rather than true. going on the forums. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay, I think. Okay, suggestions. Okay, I think that's all the same kind of elemental questions that we had before. Yeah. Um. So, I think I think most right. of the questions have been asked and answered. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, this will be posted on YouTube, and then I'll post it on Facebook and the forums and everything in case you missed part of it and want to check if any of your questions had been answered earlier. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining us and answering questions. No problem. Uh, um, fun to be here. <laughs> I'm not usually on the streams that much anymore. So. Anytime you want to join for a live stream. <laughs> okay. See, everyone came out to say hi. So. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Goodbye. Goodbye in a second, as soon as I can.